Okay, I had to do it. I had to do it, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be looking at Cat Williams is blowing up the internet right now. If you haven't seen the Cat Williams tells it all, there's gonna be a link in the description. It's Cat Williams Unleashed at Club Shay Shay. Now, I'm not, I, you, everyone knows that watches this channel, I'm a Christian. I don't like cussing and stuff like that. And Cat William definitely cusses, but I know that he loves Jesus and he's standing for truth. My goodness. And I got to play this because I truly believe it's out of control, but he's telling the truth, ladies and gentlemen, he's telling the truth. And 2024 is the year of truth. Now let's go ahead and get into this video department they made a santa claus suit for me why that wasn't in the bloopers why and and here's the other thing everything that money mike said cat williams wrote so what ricky smiley say on his mm. you can't say my lines i wrote them that's how i already already know that i'm gonna be funnier than you what he told everybody was Cat Williams, eh, eh, don't nobody know who he is? I'm on the radio. I'm with Steven Said. Everybody know me. That's what he told everybody that would listen to on the set. That's the truth of the matter. He was so egregious, not now, then he was so egregious that, and Hollywood has never heard this in a hundred years. He was so egregious, I put in my contract that I won't work with Ricky Smiley again unless he's in a dress. <laughs> now, what was Ricky? Oh. <laughs> he said he wouldn't work with Ricky Smiley unless he was in a dress. Smiley's next movie. Was it first Sunday? Mm. Did he wear a dress in it? You bet he did. It's <laughs> in my contract. Why would you put that in your, put his, in your contract, Cat? That's where he's the, a believable actor. Him and Tom. Oh, wait. What? Hold up gonna be funnier than you what he told everybody was cat williams eh, eh, don't nobody know who he is i'm on the radio i'm with steven said everybody know me that's what he told everybody that would listen to on the set that's the truth of the matter he was so egregious not now then he was so egregious that and hollywood has never heard this in a hundred years he was so egregious, I put in my contract that I won't work with Ricky Smiley again unless he's in a dress. Now, what was Ricky Smiley's next movie? Was it First Sunday? Did he wear a dress in it? You bet he did. It's in my contract. Why would you put that in your, put his, in your contract, Cat? That's where he's the, a believable actor. <laughs> Him and Tyler Perry can't play a man to say they oh! like. Oh! They play good women, and I believe that the best actor should be in the best role. So that's why, because when oh, we released oh, that clip, oh, and he oh, <laughs> we we just gotta take a moment of silence for Ricky Smiley and Tyler Perry. You know, I think Tyler Perry is a very very talented, obviously, man to create all these different movies, but I think Medea is funny, but it's always been in the back of my head. I, I just, I've never liked to see a man in a woman's dress. It, it, it just, it just has never, never sat right with me. You know, even seeing Mrs. Doubtfire with, uh, with Robin Williams, talented man, it just, it just didn't, it never sat right with me to see him in a dress. And the fact that Ty, uh, that uh, Cat Williams is talking about, you know, I'm going to have to play the clip, that unless you put on a dress in Hollywood, then you don't go beyond. And I'm going to play it when he starts talking about uh, Kevin Hart. But one thing I, I I I I don't like, and you guys can find the videos about it, where Kevin Hart is sitting there and they're asking him about putting a dress on, and he said he would he would protect his brand that you wouldn't do that, and then a few years later he's on SNL and he's wearing a dress. It, same Jamie Fox, all these other people wearing dresses, and it's just it's crazy. It's crazy. He said that you responded because he said he was supposed to play Money Mike and you were supposed to play, play Santa Claus. An outright lie. 
So, that he knows is a lie. So why would he say it? Because he's a liar. Nobody knows why liars lie. And that's why I had to come on the program. Cedric did the same thing. Okay, we, we, that, that, that's a quote that I'm going to take for myself. I'm letting Cat Williams, I'm taking your quote. Liars lie. No one knows why liars lie. Ooh. They're supposed to lie. They're liars. My goodness. My goodness. There's so much gold in this video. It's 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 crazy. Cedric told you when you asked him, did you steal Cat Williams joke? Yeah. He said it don't line up. How it don't line up that I did it on TV in 2018. You came to see me at the comedy store do it in 2019 and then did it on the Kings of Comedy. Like what doesn't line up? I this is a televised joke that Mark Curry helped me punch up and get to the level that it was. The same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom and then stole everything Mark Curry had. Now Steve got a sitcom where he the principal and he wear a suit and he I you know talking about Mark Curry and all that. I just found a video on YouTube where Steve Harvey is repeating a joke that he took. I'm like, man, what? Cat is just exposing it all. And the little clip that I saw was Steve, Har uh, it was Mark Curry uh, on stand up. And he's saying that they were so poor that for Halloween, he had to put on a box. And that was his Halloween outfit because they didn't have enough money. And that's what he, you know, was wearing. And talking about, you know, he's the UPS man. And then there was another clip of Steve Harvey saying the same thing. I think it was the Steve Harvey show where he comes out and says, we were so poor that we wore the same thing every Halloween. And I, we had to put on a box for Halloween. And he's like, you know, don't don't even trip about it. He's like, we were the UPS man. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Same thing with Cedric. Taking Cat's joke about the car. Oh, man, you guys got to look this stuff up. But I'm going to leave the full video of Club Shay Shay, Cat Williams, Unleashed in the descriptions. Click it. Check it out. They're already at 30 million views. It's it's like it's burning up like wildfire. And so if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you like this video. And I will have some more clips coming out. I'm going to just do some highlights of this Cat Williams, and I'm gonna keep posting this video because it is gold. This is the year of truth, 2024. It's all exposed.